Okay, today's the big day. So we're going to go ahead and start throwing some switches and see what works and what doesn't. Okay, so on our my battery bank, I had a bank here and a bank here. They're connected in parallel now with these connection wires. Okay, so 48 volts, an entire bank. I got uh, two, two hot wires and two ground wires going up to the main panel. They're number four aughts. The positives are on 200 amp fuses here and on this bank. Okay, got our fan running and we got about 50 volts in this bank right now. So we'll take a look up here. Well, this is hot, hot now. It's to remind me things that happened in the past. All right, so now we're looking at, yeah, there's 50 volts on that side, 50 volts on that side, all comes from the same bank. These are my two inverter inputs, okay? All right, so let's just go over the breakers real quick. On the DC side, I got my two uh, breakers for my input DC to my uh, 50 volts to the inverters, inverter one, inverter two. This is the battery monitor kit it's a two amp this is output of the charge controller 100 amp output of the other charge controller 100 amp input to the charge controller input to the charge controller okay this isn't uh well actually this is it's on I mean, none of this stuff's turned on but there is power coming from the solar bank 157 volts and dropping because it's sun's going down it's in the shade I wanted to do it while it's in the shade because I don't want a lot of power coming in here. It's, hopefully it's not that much power right now. Over here we got the AC side. This is the AC bypass. It just takes input from the, from the utility and just puts it right back out. Bypasses the complete system. This is the AC output of the system, um, whether it's bypassing or inverting. And these are the two inputs, AC inputs to the inverters. So if you were AC input, it could be charging the batteries or running the loads. All right, here we got our RTR controller. Um, you know, the two chargers up here. This is the output panel. I've only got one thing hooked up. It's just a little 20 amp breaker, just for testing right now. And this is the transfer switch. And over here, this is the utility power with a 60 amp breaker. So if I start from this end, 60 amps comes in to the transfer switch, put it on utility, that pumps AC 240 volts into the input, which then goes into the two inverters through here or is bypassed out through here. We're going down the checklist. Got the Magnum Dimensions Owner's Manual. We're on page 44, performing functional tests. Prior to turning on the inverters, make sure all AC loads are not connected. Okay, check. Lightly press and release the master inverter's on off switch. All right, so if we turn that on and turn on the output of the inverters, we should get our light come on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do we're going to turn on the power to the two inverters almost at the same time, like one, two because they got to sense each other. I should turn on this guy, this guy, and this guy, the power. And then we should be able to see on here that, it's, that they're being recognized. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and turn these on as well, but not any PV to it. So it's going to be one, two, we'll turn the battery monitor kit, and these two breakers, which should turn on the two, we should turn on everything. All right, so are we ready? How bad could it be, right? We're ready. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll leave these off. The AC power is all off. And all we should see is that these come on. Actually, they won't even really be on, but they'll be powered. And then we should see some stuff over here. All right, so here we go. It's the big moment. Oh 
my gosh. So far so good. System clock. Hmm. What time is it? I don't even know. What are these guys doing? 50.9. Oh, okay. No amps. All right. The bolts 34.9. This is the PV array volts. Okay. Battery voltage 50.9 and the amps to zero. 156. Yeah, so there are no volts because that's not turned on. All right, we're going to leave that off. Okay, port one is the master inverter. Port two is the slave. Port three is the battery monitor kit. It's thinking. So right now it's not on yet. So it's got powered, but I haven't turned it on. So I turn this on, it's going to start looking for a load. So let's do that and then we'll connect a load. Okay. We got to turn on the output. There we go. That's being driven by the inverter system right now. Inverting. This one's in standby because there's not much load. Now we've got this inverting. This one's in standby. These are just hanging out. There's no PV on those yet as they're turned off right here. All right. The output of this inverter is coming out to my main or my secondary panel here, and that's driving these two light bulbs. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is have the inverter pass the AC power through, drive the light bulbs, and charge the batteries. So press and release master inverter on, off switch to turn off all the inverters. Okay, they're off. Apply AC power to the inverters. Okay, there's my 60 amps. The 60 amps there, coming over, and this will turn on the two inverters. 15 seconds, it should turn on these lights. Right, there we go, we're charging. Wow, look at that. The charger's ramping up. Ninety one amps right now. All right, now it's backing off, dropping down fifty amps. Twenty one amps from the first inverter, twenty six amps from the second inverter. This is being powered from the utility right now. So if I switch this, I'll get the inverters charging, running it. Okay, so we just switched to the inverter. Now we're charging and we're inverting to get this. So now if I were to cut the main power, the lights would stay on, the charger would go off. If I cut the main power here, then the light should stay on because the inverter is taken over. There you go. Second one's in standby. Back on with the AC. Absorb charging. And here come the amps. Fans turning on. So it appears everything's working except 
I haven't done the charge controllers yet. All right, let's take a look at that sequence. All right, so now we're talking about these charge controllers. Well, right now this system is charging the batteries off of the two inverters. Looks like 18 amps and 17 amps absorbed charging at 58 and a half volts. All right, if the battery voltage with the input requirements and polarity is correct, apply battery power to the PT controller. So we already did that. The PT controller will go through a power-up test by turning on each segment of the display and all LED indicators is followed by the internal alarm beeping three times, display detected nominal battery voltage and the software version. Okay, before closing, connecting the PV, disconnect. Ensure the PV output voltage of the charge controller is less than that. Oh, it's going to be way less than that now because the sun's practically all down. Let's see what we got. One hundred and fifty five volts. Not much power, I would imagine. I don't know if I want to do that when it's charging off of the line. Maybe I'll cut the AC before I do that. That way the chargers won't be rolling. All right, so we'll cut the AC. That cuts the charging. Now, if I turn on the PV, we might get a little charging. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Approximately 15 seconds. If there's enough power, the controller will begin charging the battery. If there's sufficient PV array. Well, here we go. There we go. Now on our charge controllers. Oh, switch to absorb. 0.7 amps, 130 volts. Not much power, 52.7 volts. Yeah, it's pretty dark, pretty dark on the roof. Let's put uh, some more power on this thing. How about a vacuum cleaner? Back to AC. And that puts our chargers back in business. Boom. All right, it's ramping up the current right now. You can hear it. Listen to that. That's the fan. It's 80, 88 amps, 90 amps. And now it's dropping again. All right, so basically, um, so far, so good. So tomorrow, I'll try the charge controllers and uh, when we get some sun. All right, great.